Now, Leodid Pandor, South Africa's Minister of International Relations and Cooperation, is visiting Washington this week, largely to meet with members of Congress and civil society. At an event on Tuesday at the South African Embassy, VOA asked her about the relationship between the U.S. and South Africa since Pretoria accused Israel of committing genocidal actions in Gaza at the International Court of Justice. In addition, some members of the U.S. Congress are considering a reevaluation of the relationship, in part because of South Africa's close relationships with China and Russia. I think there's an attempt to uh, take up punitive action uh, against South Africa. You know, this uh, sort of axis of evil notion uh, that is very much part of the political culture. In March, South Africa requested additional measures from the U.N.'s International Court of Justice, accusing Israel of weaponizing starvation by preventing humanitarian aid from reaching Gaza since the war began in October. Israel's government has denounced the case. The White House told VOA in January that it was meritless. Pandora says she is surprised to find that the U.S. would consider punitive action against her country for speaking out in defense of the Palestinian people. I believe in freedom. I believe in human rights. I believe in democracy. I believe in equality. Uh, I believe in sovereign national interest. I believe in voice for country. And it was always my understanding that these were principles that were the lifeblood of this great nation. And so to find that the independent position we hold makes me a likely victim of punishment It's most surprising to me. Uh, I don't know which America this is. Pandora says on this visit, she intends to remind members of Congress of the value of South Africa on its own and as a gateway to the continent. In response to another question from VOA, she says her government thinks any action to diminish the bilateral relationship would be most unwise. And I believe uh, that the relationship between the United States and South Africa can help Uh, to promote uh, peace and democracy on the African continent and also to support the agenda of development uh, in Africa. Because I can't imagine how initiatives directed at greater trade and development uh, would become operational if institutional capacity of South Africa is not utilized. South Africa is a major beneficiary of the Africa Growth and Opportunity Act, which offers access to U.S. markets to 32 African nations. Pandora, a veteran member of the ruling African National Congress Party, stresses that Pretoria's problem is not with the White House. She told VOA she was not seeking meetings with either President Joe Biden or Secretary of State Anthony Blinken during her visit. When asked by VOA whether the high-stakes diplomatic pushback has been worth it, Pandora says she drew on lessons from South Africa's history. Carol Van Dam for VOA News, Washington.